heaven to give light upon the earth, and it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. God set them in a firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and for the night, to divide the light from the darkness, and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open permanent of heaven. God created great whales, and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle, creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind, and it was so. God made the beasts of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. God saw that it was good. God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over all the creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. God blessed them. God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of the earth, and every tree in which the fruit of the tree yielding seed, to you it shall be, be for meat, and to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life. I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Psalm 139, 11 through 18. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. Thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my, my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret, and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, which in con continuous were fashioned, when as it yet there was none of them. How precious also are there thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than, in, than the sand. When I awake, I am still with thee. Thanks be to God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For you, formed for inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, verse 13 
through 14. Created for whom? I am amazed at how God created things in an organized manner in Genesis 1. First day, three days, he created the containers. On the second three days, he filled those containers. He filled the light and darkness from the first day with the sun, moon, and stars on the fourth day. Light originates, originates from God himself. <coughs> sun, moon, and stars govern time with se and seasons and religious festivals. On the fifth day, he packed the air and waters above and below. The expanse of the second day with all kinds of birds and fish. On the sixth day, God filled the land with animals to eat the vegetation he had created on the third day. The final creation was mankind. God created Adam and Eve in his own spiritual image. He created them holy and very good. The psalmist reminds us that God continues to create people today in our mother's womb. He knits together our individual DNA so that each of us is a precious masterpiece by the greatest designer of all time. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. God created the world for people for you. Lord God, thank you for knitting us in your mother's womb and giving us life. Guide our lives so that we are healthy and productive as we serve you. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, today is Tuesday, May 3rd, Genesis 3, verses 1 through 13. I haven't read that in a while either. That's long. That was back in January. Genesis 2, oh, 3, 1 through 13. Genesis 3, 1 through 13. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Ye hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. The woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it. Neither shall ye touch it lest ye die. The serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes with them both were open, and they knew they were naked. And they shoot fig leaves, sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam said to his wife, Hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amidst the trees of the garden. <laughs> really? And the Lord God called unto Adam, and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice. In the garden I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman who thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me and I did eat. And then the next one is going to be a Psalm 51. According unto 
to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, thou that that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. judgest. Behold, I was sharpened in iniquity. I have sinned in my mother conceived me. Once again. Behold, thou desire truth in the inward part, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken, may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be covenant, covered unto thee. Deliver me the blood guiltness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thy, my lips, and my mouth shall shew forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices are God our broken spirit and a broken and contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. Do, do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God created everything good. Why do people die and do evil things? In Genesis 3, the devious serpent, Satan himself, challenged Adam and Eve to doubt God. It's not fair that you can't know evil. God is lying when he said you won't die. Eve listened and ate the fruit. She gave it to Adam, who was next to her. Instead of objecting, he too ate the forbidden fruit, and then blamed her, of course. They did not become wise like God, as the devil promised. They became selfishly aware of their Satan nakedness. Filled with guilt and shame, they hid from God. Psalm 51.5 boldly reminds us that because our first parents were sinful, we are born full of sin. Even newborn babies are not pure and holy. We are all born self-centered and demanding. It is selfish human nature that has transformed God's perfect creation. Our world is not good anymore. It is bursting with anger, hate, crime, disease, and death. But Jesus was not selfish out of love for humanity and for his heavenly Father. He set aside his divine right and is born human. Obeying his Father, he died at Calvary for our sin. Risen, he now proclaims that we are his forgiven children. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us in our selfishness. All the way to the cross, help us to live as your forgiven people. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I hope you enjoyed that.